Hello and welcome to tutorials today in this 3ds Max tutorial Matt shall be making an awesome camera move Yay! Okay that was just Now, as I said in my last tutorial I wasn't going to make this tutorial But I did So ha So this is linking a camera to a line Or any spline <laughs> So let's um, make a line so we draw like a loop. Doesn't have to be smooth yet. Something like that. That's fine. We gotta modify. Or yeah, actually let's just make um something for it to go around. Let's make a box. No, a plane. Shoot me now. Is that enough segments? Yes it is. And then we go to modify and if you have this plugin Greeble. So it's basically for like making lots of little buildings well, can be big buildings. <coughs> So now we have a city block to go around. So we go to line, vertex, and then we just move them up. Select that, move it up. And then just have a, like a little slope going all the way around. Um, yeah. Doesn't matter if they're not smooth yet. We shall be adjusting that later. Oop, we've got a point. There we go. And then you just want to keep on doing this all the way around. Try and get them very smooth. Like that. <coughs> all the way around. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. So. Is that good? I think that's good. So select all of them, right click anywhere and click smooth. So now they're smooth. So you just want to smooth it all out so it's nice and round. Select them all. Let's scale them up. Bit like that. Uh, there you go. There you go. Like that. We have a path going round our block. So now we are going to create a camera, a target camera. Click anywhere, anywhere you like, and then we select. This, this view could be our camera. You select the camera alone. There you go, look at it, it's a camera, it Impro proves it a camera. And then you go to motion, open the assigned controller window, click on position and that tick box, whatever, and make sure it's a path constraint. There you go. And then we go to pick target. Oh, ah, don't do that, don't pick target. Um, undo that and add path, it's the one below it. There you go. And now, let's just move the target into the city. Move it up a bit. There we go. Now if we watch this, oh look at it! I didn't even have to animate that, it, it automatically does it for you. Bleh! Yeah, look at that. <coughs> we can also animate the target. This one looks awesome. As usual. There we go. Look at that. That's what you wanted, didn't it? Didn't you? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Let's just adjust this. So it's nice and round, because if it's if if you get straight bits in it, it just looks funny. So that looks good. <coughs> Oop, delete that. Turn off auto key. It's very annoying when that happens. There you go. Goes round. E E A beautiful. Yeah. And so you can do this for bigger scenes. Stuff like that. And if that happens where it starts at one end accidentally, you need to look at that. Change it to zero. And there you go, it starts from the beginning again. Yeah. Uh I don't think that's that's gonna do anything at the moment. I don't think we can do that with the target camera, it has to be a free camera if you want to do that. 
<coughs> but that way it will always follow the path and look straight at the path it won't look at a target so let's do that now so here's a free camera there we go go to the motion again do the same thing position tick box path constraint um, we go down we add a path select the path follow bank so it will just go funny when it goes on the corners but that's not what we want unless that's what you want that looks like kinda cool actually if you want that that's fine but we don't ooh ooh that's a bit shaky we can change well we can't really change that but we can make sure it follows the path by clicking on the Y axis and there you go it follows the path if you look in the top view follows it and banks yeah, bank don't know why that's funny I think we should make something else for it to go around so let's delete that make a massive plane or pyramid nobody likes pyramids apart from the Egyptians center it up and then don't try this at home children set the length, width, segs to 50 and add greeble there you go massive massive city but though this can slow your computer up quite a bit if you do it like that <coughs> let's increase the height slowly and carefully 50 maybe 60 maybe there we go now if we look at this camera there we go it follows the path but then it's very 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 bumpy it's good when it's slow but fast no no looks very crazy now we can also do this with a circle so let's delete the camera and to, to make a circle spline let's just hide that <coughs> just look circle there you go modify it needs to be a spline so right click convert to edible spline but vertex and then we just adjust the vertex don't delete it that's a complete action by the way so just move it up move that up move this one up and move this one up Look at that, it's a circle. So now we can. What can we do now? Actually, if we undo all of this, not that far, go to interpolation, we can increase this, the steps so it's a nice smooth circle and the camera won't jitter about. Then we do all of that again. Vertex, blare that there you go just move everything up randomly there you go crazy circle so then we make another free camera or free on a target camera free and then we go to motion path again um, assign controller position tick box path constraint <laughs> add path that button and then we click ooh that looks funny follow bank Y maybe Z that Z my internet explorer stopped working again uh, we can also rotate it so it's facing the right way as well <coughs> so let's turn on angle snap tool 90 degrees there we go nice and straight unhide that and then there we go it's going backwards oh dear but oh well it looks funny and cool yeah let's make it a bit slower so we can see what we're doing wow let's flip it so it's the right way 